will be the next manager for Luton following the departure of Terry Westley. Paul Franklin is the new man in temporary charge at Norwich after Martin O'Neill's resignation. Yes, Terry Wesley gets the sack from Luton. Martin O'Neill walks out on Norwich. So what next on the managerial merry-go-round? Well, O'Neill could beat Mike Walker for the Leicester job. And Walker has now emerged as favourite to take over from Wesley at Luton. Terry Wesley had less than six months in the manager's chair at Luton. He'd done well as a coach of younger players, setting up development programmes at both Ipswich and Luton. He tackled his new role with plenty of enthusiasm and quickly set about building his team. But eight signings, costing over £2 million, failed to produce results. Injuries didn't help, but four wins from 22 games was nowhere near good enough. And Saturday's 4-0 defeat at Portsmouth, with Luton at the bottom of the first division, was the result which cost Wesley and his assistant Mick McGiven their jobs. I still believe he would be and would have been a good manager, but the, the results are what we go by, and at this time of year you, you take a, a step back and look at the overall picture, and if you're bottom of the league and you've spent two and a quarter million as we've done on new players, you say, hang on, something isn't right. I think I'd like to have been given more time. On hindsight, is an easy one. I, I think if I'd have been brave at the start of the season, I'd say, I want two years. I want to be able to be given time. I'm not sure whether five months is enough time for anybody. Luton say they're looking for someone with a safe pair of hands to take over. Maybe Mike Walker, the former Norwich City and Everton manager, who's just been interviewed for the vacant manager's job at Leicester. And what we need to do is get somebody in that can organise those players that have come for big money and are on big wages into a unit that, that can win games. And that is what we are interested in. And with two of Luton's four holiday fixtures against fellow strugglers Port Vale and Sheffield United, the new man could be in place by the weekend.